Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live in a place where the sun never sets or rises for six months? Picture this. It's the Arctic Circle or Antarctica, regions where this unique phenomenon occurs. The sun, a constant presence or a long-lost friend, transforming our understanding of day and night. This is not a scene from a sci-fi movie but a reality for those living on the edges of our planet. Imagine a world where you look out of your window at midnight and see the sun shining bright. In the northernmost parts of the world this is not a figment of the imagination, but a yearly reality. Imagine a day that stretches on for six whole months, a sun that refuses to set, casting an unending glow on the cities below. This is life in regions such as northern Alaska, Norway and Finland, during the period of constant daylight known as the midnight sun. This phenomenon has profound effects on daily routines. Many activities typically associated with daylight continue round the clock. Markets bustle, children play, and people go about their day or should we say their endless day. The concept of nighttime becomes a distant memory. Social life too sees a shift. The constant daylight fuels a sense of ongoing activity, a continuous momentum. Festivals and social gatherings are frequent, capitalizing on the extended daylight hours. However, this incessant daylight can also take a toll on mental health. It's not uncommon for locals to experience midnight sun syndrome, a form of seasonal affective disorder characterized by insomnia and mood swings. But humans are resilient and adaptable. Locals have found ways to live with the endless day. Blackout curtains become a necessity rather than a luxury, shielding homes from the relentless sun. Strict schedules are adhered to, creating a semblance of normalcy amidst the unusual. While it may sound fascinating, living in constant daylight can be a tough adjustment for the uninitiated. This is life under the midnight sun, a life of endless day, a life on the edge of time. And then, as if flipping a switch these regions plunge into unending darkness for another six months. Imagine it, a world where the sun sets and does not rise again for half a year. This is the reality for those living in the polar regions. This extended period of darkness is not without its challenges. One of the most notable concerns is vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D, often referred to as the sunshine vitamin, is primarily obtained through direct sunlight exposure. In the absence of sunlight residents must rely on dietary supplements to meet their needs. Another significant challenge is seasonal affective disorder or SAD, a type of depression that's related to changes in seasons. The lack of sunlight can disrupt our biological internal clock or circadian rhythm, leading to feelings of depression, lethargy, and a disruption of sleep patterns. But it's not all gloomy. This time of year also brings about unique experiences that you won't find anywhere else. The long polar night is the only time you can witness the mesmerizing spectacle of the northern lights. The sky dances with ethereal hues of green, pink, and violet. A sight that can only be described as otherworldly. The never-ending night may be daunting, but it also holds a unique beauty and tranquility that is hard to find anywhere else. It's a testament to the resilience of those who call these regions home and a reminder of the awe-inspiring diversity of our planet. Living in these regions is a study in contrasts, a testament to human adaptability. As we've learned from the previous scenes, life in areas of perpetual daylight and unending night is a tale of two extremes. Yet, despite the challenges, it's not just about survival. People have been living here generation after generation, finding beauty and joy in these unique circumstances. Imagine for a moment, witnessing the majesty of the northern lights dancing across the sky, or basking in the constant glow of the midnight sun. These experiences, though unusual to many, are the norm for people in these areas. They've learned to embrace the peculiarities of their home, creating traditions and lifestyles that are as unique as the regions themselves. Moreover, these places are not just fascinating for their residents, but also for scientists all around the world. The extreme conditions present a unique opportunity to study the impacts of light and dark on the human body, wildlife, and the environment. Research conducted here could lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of sleep patterns, mental health, and even climate change. Life in these regions isn't just about coping with the extremes, it's about thriving in them. It's about creating communities that are resilient, adaptable, and deeply connected to their environment. In the end, life in these regions teaches us that no matter how extreme our conditions, human resilience and adaptability can shine through.